we are here at the famous Nouveau Bar and Grill. I don't be knowing where to look at on this. I guess here. Um, I've been seeing the reviews all over social media and I was like, okay, we can't be living in Atlanta and not try it. So today, I took <laughs> this thing out on a date and I was like, we gonna go. Well, she didn't know, but I'm like, we about to eat up everything on the menu. So I'll make sure I give you guys, I feel like I'm not looking at the right thing. I guess I'll see when I edit it. We will give you our honest review. Do not judge us. We, we are greedy in real life, but I'm not being greedy right now because I have to lose weight. So, Me too. But today we're going to be greedy because we, you can't be a real critic if you're not tasting everything. So yes, you're going to see plenty of different food items. And just look at it this way. We're packing on these pounds today, or shall I say calories. We're packing on the calories today to give you guys an honest review. Because sometimes, you know, you don't know these celebrities be telling the truth. They probably get paid or get free food to say it. So I, I got to see for myself. So stay tuned so I'm gonna share the menu with you guys we ordered we want to try the devil eggs I ordered the fried sticky ribs that's the front this is the back <laughs> I'm going to do the fried lobster tail and I want to try their signature and Tay is getting you doing this right here, the um ribeye. So if you wanted to see what the menu look like, this is what it looks like. And for drinks, I'm gonna start. I wanted to try this watermelon savage, but they don't have it. So I'm gonna try the holy water. And we're here on a Wednesday, which happens to be happy hour from 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. So you said you ordered what? A rum punch. I didn't even hear her order that. What you doing ordering a rum punch? I want, to try, I want some rum punch. You think you grown? I'm very grown. You sure you grown? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Mm. Oh, you have to So, so probably taste the devil eggs. Got a piece of chicken on it. Okay. Nothing to write home about yet. This is good. It's like a fried rib and some good sauce. I like it. She's eating the beans. Thank you so much. So, you want to taste your rum punch? So, this is the holy water. Should I read what's in the holy water? Mm -mm. Don't tell them. Mm -mm. Okay. This is bomb. Cheers. Mm -hmm. It don't even taste like nothing in it. I'm gonna finish busting this sticky rib down. What is it called again? I don't know. I said it in the beginning of the video. <laughs> Y'all had to come back. This rib? Mmm. Some of y'all know I'm a foodie. Ooh, baby. Mmm. Good God almighty. Mmm. Can I take some of your beans? Beans? Let me know that. As my nephew used to say, beans. <laughs> Not a fan of the beans. They make some good beans. This rib is hitting though, y'all. It's the same one rib. I don't want to get full so I can eat the rest of my food. I don't say I already feel comfortable. Been holding my appetite. Y'all day? 
Yes, water and more. You do need another utensil. Need some a fork. Need a spoon. <laughs> You are prepared. Thank you. Yeah, I'm gonna get on the real punch. I'll take one more and some salt. I already know. I just like salt. It's salt? Yeah. Thank you, hun. Don't eat your food. Yet. I gotta take a picture. I know she's probably cursing me out. Matter of fact, let me do that before I eat. Okay. Yummy. Yum, 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 yum. Oh, when you need your hair done? Okay, you can eat. <laughs> so, let's get into this for the signature. Oh, it's leg. Mm. Oh, not right now. I gotta taste this first. So, I'm assuming this is like crab meat. They got lobster. I mean, shrimp. I am not gonna be eating all of this, guys. I'm already full, to be honest with you. Because I haven't eaten today, so. I guess it's gas build up. <laughs> Damn it. I guess I'm definitely ain't going away after this now. Let me see. Mm, baby, I'm just Baby, I have a big oil stain in my dress. The devil don't want me to enjoy my food, y'all. <laughs> This is cute presentation, but it does fall. Here we go. You want to taste it or you want to wait? Okay, you ain't even eat your food yet. That's okay. These fries are good. The fries is good. I can't do the fries. I've never had Parmesan fries before. Thank posted it and she talked so highly of it posted pictures and then I started like looking at well, you know how they tag it so I looked on this particular restaurant's Instagram and then I seen like well the celebrities that was coming here I'm like okay that food must be off the chain and because I love food I'm gonna go see what it's all about it's good I'm sorry y'all know I'm so honest I haven't tasted the rest yet. So far, what I taste is good. I don't know if it gives me that I'm gonna crave it to run back flavor. There's only a few places I can say that I've been and the flavors are just so amazing that I like crave it. And I'll, I'll even travel for it. Hot and juicy crawfish is definitely one. My homegirl put me on to that years ago when I first started flying. My homegirl, Channing, was it Vegas? Yes, Vegas. She put me on to that. That's a place I would travel for. They have one in Orlando. I'll travel for Hot Juicy Crawfish. My favorite restaurant that y'all seen on my Mother's Day. For those who follow me, seen my um, Mother's Day two years ago at that Ethiopian spot, Desta's. Oh, I'll definitely go for that. We just went last uh, in February. This is good, but it does. I don't know yet if it's gonna give me that. Oh my god, we gotta go back to me. I feel so bad. I'm, I'm not leaving a bad review. It's a good restaurant. Food is good. Like I said, I haven't finished eating yet because I still have these lobster tails and I'm gonna taste taste steak and her food. So maybe one of these dishes and make me say, oh, we gotta go back. So far, what I've eaten, which was the devil eggs, the ribs, and now the signature, which is the shrimp and grits, and it has. I don't know. I want to say salmon. salmon. Yeah. Salmon, shrimp, and Very lobster. good. But it hasn't given me that. Okay. We got to go back to Nouveau yet. So I'll be back once I taste these lobster tails, okay? I taste, taste steak. Her steak is bomb. I can honestly say her steak is good. 
I'm um, so full. I ain't really eating nothing. All right, let's see what this lobster doing. Oh, it's so big. It's juicy. That's what I said. That's juicy. Mm -hmm. I love spinach. Let's see what this gonna taste like. Spinach is good. But it needs salt. <laughs> So I've officially tasted everything. I'm full. I can't even eat no more. I literally just ate a piece of the lobster. I still have a whole cup. I can't do no more. Ooh, Jesus. <laughs> That's my review, y'all. It's good. It's something to experience, but I don't see me flocking back. I don't see it being on my top 10. I'm sorry, guys. My palate is just very... I don't know. Well it's very well diverse. You know, I've eaten so many places all around the world. So I think I'm a good food critic. I don't really talk about it, but I love some damn food. So I love flavors, all that. And with that being said, when I eat, I want to feel like, oh my God. Like, I want that feeling where I'm like, oh my God, I have to come back. Or I got to get another one to go. I didn't get any of those vibes, but. I'm happy that I came. I'm happy that I support it. It's a um, black owned business. With that being said, I don't regret it at all. I'm excited. I'm happy. I'm going to tip very well because the customer service was A1. That I can say. The girl who served us, I'm so mad I didn't get her name. She was phenomenal. Katie? Katie. She's the bomb. Oh my God. I forgot my phone on airplane mode. I'm sorry, y'all. I know y'all hear those notifications. That's my son. But. I gotta go, y'all. I'll talk to y'all when I get to the truck, okay? Work hoes. So, we was talking about, well, she was talking about work hoes. She got like mad work hoes, y'all. <laughs> Yo, if y'all ain't know, Tay is single and ready to mingle. Just know, <laughs> you still gotta deal with me. <laughs> But she's single and ready. Who rang my doorbell? I'm sorry, y'all. I had a little brief intermission. So we was talking about Tay work hoes. No, that wasn't the topic. No. We was talking about shoes. <laughs> That's what we was talking about. Yeah. You tell them what happened when you walked in the house today. So I come, I come in the house today, right? And I. Uh, I look over where we normally take our shoes off in the, where the garage and the uh, laundry room is at, and Babe got to see him on the shoes. <laughs> now, the only time I seen his shoes when I used to work at the airport, you know, too, as well. And the only person I seen was these senior moms, these old ladies, who was coming off the flight, the flight attendants, right? And I, was, I said, damn, my babe got the damn flight attendant shoes now. The, the, the senior, senior mama shoes. flight attendant shoes. That's said, right. So the conversation was those shoes represent money. Not saying I got money. I don't want y'all to get it the wrong way. So basically what I was saying was when you get to a certain point in life, like when you go to work, you want to be comfortable. You're not trying to be cute. Yes, there's flight attendants that be fly for the gods, honey. I mean, body done, dresses is tight tailored, shoes is off the chain, like high heels, hair is off the chain. They got the the most expensive Brazilians you could find. Like, they be fly, sexy, young. But that's because they looking for something. You know what I'm saying? You you in that lifestyle, you looking for something. You want to be noticed. You can meet a boiler at any time. You know, I'm not at that stage in life. You know, I'm an old lady with teenagers and this thing right here, even though she's on, um, she's on sale, y'all. She ain't trying to sell me. She on sale, y'all. She is very fucking expensive. That part I ain't gonna lie. But she's on I, I she's on sale, y'all. She on the market. I ain't on no damn market. <laughs> so basically appreciate my senior mama hush puppies. I'm gonna put a picture right here. And I'm gonna show you the shoes she's talking about. Yes, they super freaking ugly. She's like she a Dutch a Dutch woman, man. Like she's about to start doing making dolls and shit. She's about to pass the Dutch. 
<laughs> so what they ugly but those are my money makers those are them shoes that say i'm going to get comfortable so i can get through this shift and bring this this, this freaking bacon home you know what i'm saying you should be happy that my shoes look like this and not like this <laughs> So what type of shoes your your hoes be wearing to work? I don't got no hoes, but I wear my uh stinky um messed up in the back Nikes. I didn't say you, I said your hoes. I don't know what them damn chicks be wearing. I don't be paying attention to them damn chicks at work. I pay attention to them niggas though. Them niggas be fly to death though, man. They be had on they they fly gear, like they come and go into the club to go to work, sneakers and all. Yo, and tell them about the dude with the sweatpants with no underwear. What y'all think that means? Oh, First, I'm finished about the shoes, man. Oh, my bad. So, they'll, they'll be working, and then, you know, we get dirty. Like, we're going to get dirty with what we do in the warehouse. So, they get mad when the shoes get dirty. Like, nigga, you, you shouldn't be wearing them type of shoes at the damn job. So, basically, it be all in girls' faces and yeah, shit. Yeah, that's just shoes oh, tell everything. You that trying to impress fact, somebody. That's who, in the fact that they always team up with females acting like they work hard and shit. They don't be doing shit. They just, they some lazy motherfuckers. Anyway, but yeah, I wear Basically, I look like I go to work. I look like I go to work and leave. I wear the same shit every week. I sure do wash it over and over. They dingy. Probably got little holes and stuff. Cause I'm just going to work. That's it. So my ugly senior mama shoes is equivalent to that. That's what it means. It's just that you're not thinking about those things. Exactly. But I don't stink. If one thing you can't say, I don't stink now. We ain't even talking about. See I'm just again the, I'm the, the as classic tag. She goes to the left. We ain't even talking about stuff like that. But when you walk in that door and you see some four inch pump, actually I think we can only wear up to two inches. So you see some two inch pump sitting there, then you worry. You should be happy about my ugly senior mama hush puppy Mary Dutch. Janes. They're hush puppy Mary Janes that are comfortable. The Duchess. I know my shoes is ugly. I don't care, they comfortable. So tell me about that guy at work. <laughs> she be having some crazy stories. That's uh, a manager who walks around? a manager, man. So one day I was walking past this, this dude. I didn't even know. He, I knew he was something because the vest color sells it. But I was walking past him one day and um, I wasn't even trying to, I wasn't even looking. I just was walking straight, just looking straight. And homeboy pants was moving. And I was like, oh shit, this nigga don't got no damn drawers on, yo. Like, nigga, put some drawers on. Like, you really in, at the job like they were black they were black sweatpants and they was you know what the funny part about that was man right. them niggas was had had high waters they were high waters too they don't care his thing swinging yeah he was selling it his, his junk was just swinging i'm glad they want no great stuff i think i would have thrown up in my mouth i'm like oh god oh it, god. it caught your attention so imagine all the attention it was catching but i was walking straight i wasn't like looking and i just was walking straight and something just went Psh. <laughs> what did it say? It went, Psh. and you saw that shit. Babe, I'm walking and just went, Psh. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> Bro, I, I I was like, oh my God, I was sick after that. I, I was really sick after that. I was like, oh my God, I said, I can't believe my, what my eyes just saw. I couldn't look at nigga the whole time after that. I was like, this bro don't wear no drawers to work. Because he advertised them. Yeah, he advertised them. I'm pretty sure he's sick with a few of them girls. Y'all go to work and advertise. What you be advertising? I don't advertise a goddamn thing other than scanning them damn packages. Whatever. I sure do. That's just like I learned that one of the white girls that's one of the black dudes. You can learn some, some shit at that job. That ain't nothing new. Yeah, but well she got his schedule to get changed to what hers is and everything. He don't do shit. He don't pick. He don't do nothing. That's probably what they were saying when they saw me and you being too friendly. Nah, I work. Hey, one thing about me. I work. I go to work. Work. But he ain't been to work lately because he's his brother died. But anyway, we're gonna end this little short mini vlog. I've been giving y'all little short mini vlogs. I'm trying to get back into my YouTube channel because I did fall off, y'all. I mean, I was never that consistent from the beginning, but I've been falling off so bad and I've been missing it. So it's like I'm trying to get myself back into it. So I just thought this would have been a good you know opportunity to bring y'all for the review of nuvo atlanta bar and grill and you know if on our you, next journey i got some for you yeah this was my date so next time is her is her turn i can't wait <laughs>
So yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys. So if anyone has ever came to Atlanta and visited Nuvo Atlanta Barn Grill in College Park off of Camp Creek on Main Street, let me know how was your experience in the comments, okay? And there's plenty more black owned restaurants there. If you've uh, been there, let us know in the comments um, so we can try it out ourselves. Uh, we are gonna try the Hattie Maze or whatever, the dinosaur, uh, what is that, a steak, baby? Yeah. yeah we're gonna try that. Um, I got a restaurant I wanna try that's in Marietta. Uh, we got a few places, you know. Atlanta, Atlanta's the up and coming Hollywood, let's just be honest. Period. Yeah. And if you're trying to move here, it's too expensive. Very. And we don't need you because of all the damn traffic. It ain't like it traffic. used to be. When um, I first came out here years ago, it was so cheap. It ain't like that no more. more. It's expensive as hell. My house has already doubled. And I ain't even been here that long. My house property has doubled, y'all. So I could literally move out right now and get every penny I spent. And what you spending on that for her mortgage? But for the mortgage, for the mortgage is basically what rent is now. For it's one crazy. bedroom, two bedroom, three bedroom. So So with that being said, we're gonna leave this video and now y'all know that means I'm a boss bitch. <laughs> so I brought the rat something for my daughter because I told y'all I couldn't eat it. So now she's tasting it and giving us her take on it. Mm. <laughs> mm. Is that good? Mm. So maybe it was me. I was just probably too full. I couldn't give a good review because I just felt like I couldn't eat That's it. That's good. So you love it. Especially just grits. Mm hmm You can taste the cheese in it. There's a little like cheesy flavor. Mm -hmm. It's nice and creamy. The peppers give it a nice taste. Mm -hmm. And the fish don't come out. I'm vlogging, Tay. Oh my God. <laughs> Y'all see a little bit of glimpse of my life. What you about to eat now? The lobster. Okay. I'm trying to pull some out. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> You like it? Mm, that's good. Okay, so that's a real review, guys, from my daughter because I got so full, I couldn't really enjoy it because yeah. I'm like, oh my god, like since I've been losing weight and stuff, like my stomach has gotten like small. I can't eat the capacity that I'm used to eating, so it's like I get full so quickly. Bust it down, Nini. Bust it down. Hey, bust it down, Nini. Bust it down. Hey, eat that lobster. Eat that lobster. Eat that lobster. <laughs> My fit is dead. Hopefully they didn't hear that. Listen. My fit. My fit. Yes, I'm. <laughs>